<clears throat> okay, next is the heating systems. And as you can see by this big outer wall, there's a lot of area that lets light in, and there's a major greenhouse effect in here. There's the sun off in that direction, and it's probably not coming out as bright on camera as it is right now. We have to squint. Um, but it heats up the dome pretty well in the, in the daytime. But when it's nighttime, uh, obviously the sun isn't out and the moon's not going to heat up the place. So we use this wood stove, which has a pipe that goes through the wall there and outside. And I built this out of a 55 gallon drum, a steel one. Actually, it's two 55 gallon drums. You know, this is the main part. And then when I cut the hole for the door, I wanted to have you know, a bigger cover than the hole so the door didn't just fall in. So I had to cut it out of another drum so it would be bigger. Um, you can open the door and there's inside. Uh, in one of the other videos it was blazing in there and just rewind a couple videos and you can see that. It's one of the dome videos. But right now it's, just, it's a little bit warm because there's some coals but not much going on. Right here there's a fiberglass gasket that makes a pretty good seal when it's closed. And there's just kind of a crappy latch I made. You can't even see it, it's too dark. But down here at the bottom is the, the vent. And you pull that open. And right now it's clogged up with ashes, of course. But anyway, air goes gets sucked up through there. And I plugged it up with ashes a little while ago because I just wanted to turn everything off, so I blocked all the air completely. But, you know, that little thing controls how much air goes in, so you let more air in, the fire gets hotter, you close off the air, the fire goes down. Um, <clears throat> now, there is one other part of the heating system, which I don't think I can show you because it's under the bed and it's completely dark. Let me draw it. Okay, so since I can't show you most of this stuff, because most of it's underground, uh, here's the dome, obviously. The bottom floor, the second floor, the trampoline, and the top floor. Ooh, and over here, look, solar panel. Anyway, that's all details, it don't matter. Coming up through the concrete floor is this tube, and it's about uh, six inches in diameter, and it goes under, the, under uh, well, it's right under the bed there, and it goes right under ground like this, and it goes underground for a while. It's about a meter below the ground, maybe a meter and a half, and I had to, you know, I dug it out and put it all in there and it goes down, down, down the side of the cliff kind of into this cave, which is, you know, halfway down, halfway down the cliff on that side. Um, and the ground temperature stays pretty cool. Um, so in the summer, it's pretty cool in this cave and then the air in this tube stays cold too because, you know, it's all underground. Now, how do you suck cold air from here up into the dome to be used as air conditioning? Well, cold air usually goes down, right? Yeah, but in the summer, the sun hits here and heats up the dome, right? And if you open up a vent up here in the top, all the hot air rushes out to the top and it creates suction, sucking up the cold air. So the bottom half of the dome stays pretty cool. Um, you know, some of the dome has to be pretty warm so that it keeps that upward pressure. But this whole bottom part, this whole bottom room right here stays maybe 20 degrees cooler than anywhere else in the dome. Yep.